Let's see what is the difference between type 1 and type 2. So before seeing the difference, let's understand what is type 1. So now consider we have an existing table. So this table is an employee table that contains two rows with the columns such as ID, name and email ID. So this is our existing table. Now consider we are getting a new record that needs to be loaded into this table. So this record contains values such as 333 which is ID, Alex which is the name and finally alex at gmail.com which is the email ID. So now let's discuss the merge functionality of type 1. Firstly as part of the merge we will be using a unique column such as ID as a merge column. So here the merge logic first checks if this ID already exists in the table or not. So the ID here is 333 and this ID doesn't exist in the table which means that this is a new data, right? In that case, the type 1 merge functionality will insert the new row to the table. Now let's see a different scenario. Consider we are getting an another row as a new data. Here, similar to the previous one, the type 1 merge will first check if the ID already exists in the table or not. So as you can see here, the ID 222 already exists in the table. So in that case, what we'll be doing in type 1 is, if the ID matches, the merge logic will check if there are anything that's changed between the new row and already existing row for that particular ID. So as you can see here, the name Mike hasn't changed between the new row and the existing row. But if you see the email ID, in the existing row, the value is mike at gmail.com, whereas in the new row, it is mike123 at gmail.com. So basically, this employee has updated his email ID. So in that case, what will happen is, in type 1 merge, it will remove the old email ID from the table and replace it with a new email ID, which is mike123 at gmail.com. So this is the second scenario in this type 1 merge. Now let's see the third scenario. Consider we are getting another record. Now even this ID matches with the existing record in the table. In that case, as seen before, the merge logic will check if there are any changes that has occurred between the new data and the existing data for that particular ID. And here the name John is not changed. And also the email ID john at gmail.com is not changed as well. So here we have just received a duplicate record which already exists in the table. In that case, the type 1 merge will not do anything here and will ignore this record. So basically this is the functionality of the type 1 merge. To summarize this, in type 1, the value gets overwritten if there are any changes that has occurred for the matching record. So as seen in our example, the email id mike at gmail.com is overwritten with a new value called mike123 at gmail.com. Also since the value gets overwritten, we'll not be preserving any history in this table. So as you can see here, from this table, we now cannot identify what is the previous email id of Mike and we can only see the latest email id which is mike123 at gmail.com. So in type 1, the table will always hold the latest values and the history is not preserved here. So this is the overview of type 1. And now let's see about the functionality of type 2. So let's use the same example to understand the functionality of type 2. Firstly, we have a new record and here, similar to type 1, the type 2 functionality also checks if the same ID exists in the table already or not. So if the ID not exists, then it is considered as a new row. So since the ID 333 doesn't exist already in the table, similar to type 1, the type 2 also inserts the new record to the table. And then in the second scenario, we have another record and here this ID 222 already exists in the table. So when the ID matches, similar to type 1, the type 2 also checks if there are any changes happened in any of the columns for that matching record. So as you can see here, the name Mike hasn't changed here, but the email ID is changed to mike123 at gmail.com. Now, the interesting part of type 2 is, instead of overwriting the old values as similar to type 1, in type 2, the entire new record gets inserted in the table. So that's the main difference between the type 1 and type 2. Now in this table, you can see we have two records for the ID 222. So you may ask a question, 
how do we know which one is the latest record for the ID222? So to solve this issue in data warehousing, we have a concept called flag. So this column can have values such as yes or no, y or n, and we can also have values like zero or one. So basically this flag column gives us details to identify the latest records in the table. As you can see here, in this table, all the latest records are marked as Y, and then the row which contains the old email ID for 222 is marked as N, since this row is not a current record anymore. In this way, you can easily query the table by passing the ID and the flag value equal to Y to get the latest record for that particular ID. Now, if you see about the third scenario, here the ID 111 matches with the existing record in the table. And since it is matched, it will look for any changes between the new data and the existing data for that particular ID. And as you can see here, both the name John and the email ID john at gmail.com is not changed. So in this case, this is the duplicate record. So similar to type 1, the type 2 doesn't perform any operation and just ignore this record. So to summarize this, in type 2, if the value changes for any of the columns in the matching record, the data will be inserted as a new row. Whereas in the type 1, the value will be overwritten. Also in the type 2, the history is preserved in the table. So we can see what are the previous versions of the data in the table since the value doesn't get overwritten as similar to type 1 and instead it gets added as a new row. So in the nutshell, if you want to preserve the history in your table, you can go for type 2. And if you don't want to preserve history and just keep the latest record in your table, you can go for type 1. So that's the difference between type 1 and type 2 in the data warehousing.